Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are going to be doing some nail art. And this type of nail art I've never done before but I'm very excited to try. I thought I came up with the idea but I didn't. I googled it and apparently people have already done it but it's fine. So in today's video I am going to be doing nail art using temporary tattoos. Got a whole bunch of temporary tattoos here and you can probably see they're actually little tiny snakes. I saw some nail art on Pinterest that I thought was super interesting and I wanted to recreate. So here is the inspiration picture and this one in black and white I really like as well. So now that you've seen the inspiration pictures you kind of see what I'm going for. It's very small intricate designs on the nails and I don't have the tools nor am I skilled enough to do that just using uh, nail polish so I came up with the idea to try and use temporary tattoos to put on the nails and apparently it does work because other people have done it before and I'm very excited to try it for the first time. This can open up so many more doors to make more interesting nail art rather than just plain color or trying to do it by hand and it not turning out very well. To start with I've got my nail glue. I've got some fake nails because mine are way too short for anything to look good and I cannot grow them long to save my life. So I'm going to be using some fake nails, putting them on my fingers, and then I will apply the base coat, wait for it to dry, and then apply the temporary tattoos on top of it and go over that with a clear top coat to lock the uh, temporary tattoo design onto the nails. So I think for mine, I'm going to go with a white base coat. This white one by Sinful Colors. Snow Me White, color 101. So I think I'm gonna use that as my base color and I'll be doing the uh, tattoo design on the four fingers here and I'll be doing the thumb uh, just solid black. So I've got another bottle of Sinful Colors in black, and it's called Black on Black. And my Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Extreme Wear uh, Clear Top Coat. Okay, so first things first, I'm just going to start by putting on the nails. nails are on looking fabulous which I accidentally cracked that one down the middle a little bit but it's fine I don't like the way that that white looked so I took it off and I'm going to be using a different one <laughs> So, funny story, I uh, had to run out and uh, buy some nail polish remover because I started this manicure without realizing that I don't have any. So, that's the thing. And I also got a new white, which I will be using for the base coat. Good old Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Extreme Wear in the color White On. Okay, now we do the base coat. <laughs> The base coat is done. Now I have to put the temporary tattoos on the nails. I probably should have cut this and sized it before I put the nails on, but that's all right. We're gonna figure it out. the tattoo on the nails. I think it looks pretty darn good. I had to patch up where it was short, too short, but overall pretty happy with that result. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one. 
So the nails are done with the top coat on them. I think they look pretty cool. Well, I think that went pretty well. I had to do a little bit of touch-ups because some of it didn't fit all the way on the nail, but I just used a little bit of black and white nail polish. I just put a clear top coat over the temporary tattoo, and hopefully they hold up pretty well. I am pretty excited about the way that they turned out, and I will be using this technique going forward. It's such a quick and easy way to do intricate nail art because you're not actually doing the nail art you're just sort of stamping it on there i know you could get nail stamps but some of the designs aren't like this like i would never have been able to find a snake nail stamp that will go over all four nails i'm pretty excited about this and i'm going to keep using it i hope you guys found this video interesting and i hope maybe that i've inspired you to use this technique or maybe you've never heard about it before uh, if you do try it send me a picture, tell me how it goes. I don't know. That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up if you did and subscribe for more. I put out videos every Friday and I will see you in the next one. Bye.